darlings of the gospel, my begotten children unto God, listen to me, O pastor. Amen. You, I wish there was some way I could explain it to you. There's no words I couldn't find it. It's not found anywhere. But just beyond this last breath is the most glorious thing that you ever have. There is no way to explain it. There's no way I just can't do it. But whatever you do, friend, lay aside everything else till you get perfect love. Get to a spot that you can love everybody, every enemy, everything else. That one visit there to me has made me a different man. I can never, never, never be the same brother Brandon that I was. Whether the planes are rocking, whether the lightnings are flashing, whether the spy has a gun on me, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I'm going to press the battle by the grace of God. For I have preached the gospel to every creature and every person that I can persuading them to that beautiful land, Your Honor. It may seem hard. It may take a lot of strength. I don't know how much longer. We don't know, physically speaking. That from my examination of the day, it said, you've got 25 years of hard, good life. You're solid. That helped me. But oh, that wasn't it. That isn't it. It's something within here. This corruption has got to put on incorruption. This mortal's got to put on immortality. Amen. Sons of Kish may rise. I have all the good things they do. I have nothing evil to say against it. Given to the poor and to charity. And remember, what Samuel told Saul, you will also prophesy. And many of those men are great mighty preachers can preach the word like archangels. But still, it wasn't God's will. God was to be their king. Brother, sister, you let the Holy Spirit lead you. Let us bow our heads just a moment. I'm so homesick and blue. I want to see Jesus. I would like to hear those sweet harbor bells chime. It would brighten my path and would vanish all fear. Lord, let us look past the curtain of time. Lord, let me look up past the curtain of sorrows and fear. Yeah. Let me view that sunny, bright climb. Oh, amen. It would strengthen our faith and would vanish all fear. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, let them look I pass the curtain of time. Hey. I am sure, Lord, if this little church this morning could just look to pass the curtain, not an affliction among them, there never could be, not a sickness, nothing but perfection. And it's just one breath between here and there. From old age to youth, from time to eternity, from a weary of tomorrow and a sorrow of yesterday till a present time of eternity in perfection. I pray, God, that you will bless every person here. If there be those here, Lord, who does not know you in that way of love. And truly, Father, 
Nothing could enter that holy place without that type of love, the new birth, the being born again. The Holy Spirit, God, is love. And we know that that is true. No matter if we move mountains by our faith, if we did great things still without that there, we could never climb that great ladder on earth. But with that, it'll lift us beyond this earthly care. I pray, Father, that you will bless the people here. May that every person that has heard me this morning tell this truth. That you be my witness, Lord. As Samuel of old, have I ever told them anything in your name of what was true? They are the judges. And I tell them now, Lord, that you've taken me to that land. Thou knowest that it's true. And now, Father, if there be some that doesn't know you, may this be the hour that they say, Lord, place within me the will to be thy will. Granted, Father. And now you, with your heads bowed, would you raise your hands and say, Pray for me, Brother Branham. God will within me. Now, while you're right where you are, Just real sweetly, why don't you just say to Father, God, within my heart, today I renounce all things of the world. I renounce everything to love you and serve you all my life. And I will, from this day henceforth, follow you. In every scripture of your Bible, if you have not been baptized in the Christian baptism, I will, Lord. If I have not yet received the Holy Ghost, you'll know when you received it. It'll give to you. It'll give to you the assurance and love that you need. Or you might have done different ad sensations, like you might have shouted or spoke with tongues, which is fine. But if that divine love isn't there, believe me now. Say, Lord, place within my heart and in my soul the reaching of your Spirit, that I might love and honor and have that divine love in my heart today. That would take me to that land when my final breath leaves me while we pray. You pray yourself now. In your own way, you pray. Ask God to do that for you. I love you. I love you, you precious gray-headed man sitting here who's worked hard and fed little children. You poor old mamas who stroked the tears from her eyes. Let me assure you this, sister dear. It isn't that way across the other breath, Yonder. I believe it it is absolutely in the room. It's just a dimension that we live into. This is just a corruption that we live in now. Will in me, Lord, thy will to be. You pray while we pray together. Reverently, Lord. Upon the basis of thy word and thy Holy Spirit, we are so glad that we know where our birth comes from. We are glad that we were born not of the will of man nor the will of flesh, but of the will of God. And we pray today, Father, that these who are now asking for pardoning grace that your Spirit will do that work. Lord, there's no way for me to do it. I'm just a man, another son of Kish. 
But we need you, the Holy Spirit. God, let me be a Samuel, one who tells the truth of the Word. And you have vindicated it so far. And I believe that you will continue as long as I stay true to you. May they all now receive eternal life, Father. May this day never depart from them. In the hour when they come to leave this world, may this, what I have just said to them, open to a reality. And as we set your mortal today, looking at our watch, thinking of our dinner, of work tomorrow, of the cares and toils of life, they'll not be them. They'll all fade away. There will be no cares. One great joy of eternity. Give them that type of life, Father, everyone. And may I ask you this, Father, that every person that's here this morning that's heard me say this vision, may I meet every one of them on the other side. Though there may be men here that would disagree with me, and women too. But, Father, never let that stand in our way. May we meet them over there and they run to and we grab each other screaming, Our precious brother, let it be like it was shown there, Lord, to everyone. All that I love and all that love me, I pray that it will be that way, Lord, and I love them all. Let them appear, Father. I offer them eternal life now. May they do their part to accept it. For I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. We have just a few moments to pray for the sick. I see we got a little sick girl here and a lady in the chair. Now to my most precious brother, sister, please do not misunderstand me. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But God, when I die, let me go back there. Just let me go to that place is where I want to be, wherever it was. I'm not trying to be a Paul that was caught up in the third heavens. I'm not saying that. I believe that he was just trying to encourage me, trying to give me a little something to push me on in my new ministry coming up. Would it seem irreverent if I read something here just a, a minute? Would it be all right? One of the nation's leading magazines, Billy Graham. Dr. Billy Graham invited to the Islam on the front page of the Africans Times, February 15, 1960. The writer for the article, who was a Muslim, Muhammad, thinks that miracles should follow the preaching of the gospel of Christ. The same yesterday, today, and forever. We quote, It is this Christ promised his followers when he said, He that believeth on me the works that I do shall he do also, even greater than these shall he do. Has the church ever done the works that the, the attributes of Christ in the Bible? Can it today? Can it any of the church distinguish did it perform even half the miracles performed by Christ? Not to say greater works. Can you, as an individual, renowned advocate of the Christian life to raise the dead to physical life? Can you walk on the seas? Can you heal the sick and give sight to the blind? 
Is not this according to the above mentioned era set forth of the Muhammad? Or set or the test by Christ reached followers as the statements of some or in your belief? Much to the Muslim article is plainly one misstatement after another. They discredit this Muslim, but he was right. But here's what they had to say. The best answer to which to read the Bible and to know the Koran. The Koran suffers that the uh, by, uh, suffered by the comparison. The claim of Mohammedism is outstanding and outpacing Christianity is pure uh, B-O-M-B-A-S-T-I-C, bombastic, I suppose, imagination. The writer, nevertheless, has touched a vital point regarding miracles belonging to the Church. But here again we doubt the writer's sincerity. For who could point out and could dispute the miracles done by Reverend William Brown before the Muslims in South Africa when 10,000 received it, Christ the Savior? Under the ministry of William Brown, in Durban, South Africa, and elsewhere throughout the world, or to T.L. Osborne in East Africa. Of course, we stand 100 percent for Billy Graham. We talked a part of question is of no this part of question is of no value. But in the midst of every bit of it. We called me, said we were fanatics. We didn't know what we were doing. They had the witness in their own paper. But God did do it anyhow. God just as much God today as He ever was. You might not think that they don't believe it, they don't see it. This isn't here, it isn't done in the corner. The hundreds of thousands of people sitting there watch that. When you've seen that crippled, afflicted boy come there, the Holy Spirit tell him about his life and things and what took place, and there and see 10,000 Muslims lay themselves on the ground flat and accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior. Amen. We still got T.L. Osbers and so forth that still feed cheap food. Yes. We, Amen. I guess Brother Osbers hasn't had been down amongst the Muslims yet. They claim they're so predominant. But we still have a God who can deliver the sheep from the lion, can deliver the sheep from the bear. Amen. It done me good to know that they have to ride it and recognize it. Well, they think they don't. They walk away and turn their back and say, oh, them days are past. The Muslims said, oh, the, the whole Bible and it's past. You're all wrong. You're worshiping a man, a man that died, and his name was Jesus, and he died long years ago. And there's no such a thing as him being a resurrected. But they couldn't say that at the Durban meeting. There he stood doing the same thing that he did and proved to him. Now, even the, the denominations has to come back. The very person that wrote and told me that I had to retrace my teaching on the Bible was the one who had to write that in their paper. God will make them praise him anyhow. That's right. He'll make them praise him anyhow. Praise the Lord. We got a little sick girl sitting here. That's your child? What's your trouble, sister? Ma'am, bring hemorrhage. No, Four years old. Or is it from Marengo or somewhere down? Peel. Is this the girl? Yes. The only one thing, Mother, can just save the girl. That's God, you know. I'm so glad of that. Have you been down prayed for, Brother Neville? Since Brother Neville went down and prayed for her, she's gotten better. Still have shepherds that know sheep food. 
What's your trouble, Sister Dear, sitting in the chair there? Yours. Cancer. Well, if I just asked you something, maybe right here, how many years been healed of cancer? Raise up your hand. But here, Sister. God is the healer. We know that. If I told you I could go down there and take that hemorrhage off of the girl and make her well, I'd tell you wrong. Or I could take the cancer off the woman. But I know one thing. There was a bear, a cancer, a tumor, a blindness, and even death grabbed some of God's sheep one day. And I went forth with the power of God. Amen. I slew him and brought that sheep back. Amen. Right? Yeah. We go forth today, not with any great something, so and so. I go forth with a plain little slingshot of prayer. Amen. He'll bring her back. You believe that, don't you, sister? You believe too, don't you, sister? Yeah. How many of you believe with your heart now? Amen. Now you bow your heads while I go to prayer. Yeah, thank the Lord. Thank you. 